Good morning, this is Sam, and I am here to do Yoga Shape with you. If you're there, say hello. Let me know if you can hear me. I'm checking our sound, so let's check. All you're going to need to is a shape. bottle of water and a mat and the desire to just move your body. Yoga Shape Method is a Hatha-based class with a few Pilates moves infused into it. It's broken up into three different sections. Number one is Mountain One, where we warm up and we do our sun salutations. And number two is Mountain Two, is where we go into, we're warmed up and we do a few poses uh, and hold them a little bit longer, more traditional yoga poses. And then Mountain Three is our final part of the class where we are warmed up enough to hold the poses a little bit longer and then we go into our final cool down. The class is 60 minutes and take breaks as you need it. Ask questions, you can DM me or just put questions here or send me an email. And I'm so excited to join, to um, share this with you from my house to yours. So let's get started. I am gonna mention, is because I love these, I've put on my favorite oils which is bergamot, uh, this is really fruity and orange smelling and as well as frankincense. I love frankincense because it's so good for your skin and just for calming down and they just both smell really great. So I put those in the bottom of my feet and right in my hands and just smell them to wake up. So let's get started. If you have any hand weights, you can grab them. If not, that's okay you don't have to use the hand weight. So let's start in the middle of our mat and let's just shift our weight back and forth, back and forth, and then find a nice comfortable spot here. Just let your arms relax and just drop your head down and start to focus on your breath. Let's just let everything of the week just go away, shake away from your body. Drop that head down and then inhale and roll your neck to one side. And then exhale and just roll your neck to the other side. Just side to side, so just rolling one side to the other. Noticing any tension, noticing how that feels. And then let's come back to the center and let's just move our side, just slight, slight bend in your knees and just side to side, reach down and lift back up. Just warming up here, breathing into this. Beautiful, and then let's just come to the center and just twist a little slight bend in your knees, just a little gentle twist, just warming up. Breathing into this, we have little Bear joining us. You can't see him, but he is right there on his little mat watching the entire class. Let's come back here and just go back side to side so those arms are really tight towards your side and we're just lifting up ever so slightly. And then let's just drop, come back to the center, drop down, and then inhale those arms back, up, inhale them up to the sky for the first time, and exhale them down, and inhale back up, and exhale down. And let's do that once more. And then exhale down, and when we do that, let's just drop down into a chair, into a seated position. You can have your hands in together. Again, you can use weights or not, or you can just have your hands here in, in heart, center and just little pulses here, pulse, 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 small range of motion. And then let's sit down a little bit lower and then let's release down, put those weights to the side and just drop your hands down, drop your head down, knees slightly bent. And let's just sweepy willow sway side to side, side to side. And slowly come back to the center. Let's reach behind and lift those arms up to the sky. Extend your arms and reach those arms all the way up if you can. And breathe into this. Drop your head down. And then release those arms back down. And just breathe into this. So we're inhaling through our nose and we're exhaling through our nose. Clearing our mind and focusing on our breath. If you have a towel, it's great, you can, you can use that as a tool and just clasp it and reach behind. Let's just drop into this a little more, try to straighten your legs, lift everything up here. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And then let's release down, placing our towel on the mat. Let's slowly roll up, rolling up one vertebrae at a time and then roll those shoulders out in the back. 
breathing into this, squeezing those shoulder blades back, and then let's inhale those arms all the way up. Reaching up and then bring them down, place one arm on your side and lift up and out of your rib cage, straight up and out. So we're lifting straight up. And then let's inhale all the way back up to the sky. Bring the other arm down, place your hand here and lift up and out of your rib cage. And inhale back up and swan dive forward, hinging at your hips, slowly dropping down to standing forward fold. Then let's slowly roll up, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Roll those shoulders out and around, out and around and squeeze, beautiful. And then inhale those arms all the way up to the sky, clasping your hands into your heart center, coming right down into your heart center. Let's come together and plie our toes out to the side a little bit. So when you bend down, your knees are gonna go right over your ankles and toes. And let's inhale up, legs straight. And exhale down, let's swoop down, reaching down, lightly touch the floor, and then inhale and lift back up. Warming up those legs, warming up. <sighs> inhale up, and let's sit down halfway with a straight back here. Little pulses, glance down and readjust if you need to. Make sure your knees are right over your ankles. And little pulses here, pulse, pulse, pulse. Breathing into this and then let's just come up. Now if you have those weights, you can grab them, you can add them here. Let's inhale up and then exhale down and sit in halfway here and hold, pulse, 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 little pulses. And then let's sit and hold and let's inhale up. Exhale back down, sitting halfway and holding here. Little pulses, pulse, pulse, pulse. And then inhale back up. And let's swoop down, swooping down. Lightly put those weights to the side just for a moment. And then let's inhale all the way back up. Exhale, back down. Let's just lunge to one side, hands lightly on your thigh and stretch out this leg here. We're not going super low here. We're just doing a gentle stretch right now. Switch sides. And then let's come to the center, drop your head down. And just breathe into this, relaxing here, lifting up your bottom up towards the sky. And then let's just walk our hands to one side, just both arms to one side, breathing into this. And then walk your hands to the other side, stretching out here. And let's come back into the center. And I just noticed I have a hole in my brand new mat. And then let's slowly come back down. That's really not cool. Let's come back to the center and let's arch up. And exhale back down. So we're going into cat cow. So you're on a tabletop here. And just inhaling up, arching your back here, elbows slightly bent. And then drop down, belly button down towards the floor. And looking up and then let's inhale up and exhale down and out just warming up that spine this is really great for low back pain and then let's drop down here let's go right into extended child's pose bringing your bottom down to your heels stretching your hands out just breathing into this And then let's slowly come back up. And we're going to just extend one leg out behind and the opposite arm. Square your hips. Your head is parallel with your arm and just breathe, balance and hold here. And let's release down and switch sides. Inhale the other arm and opposite leg. Square your hips. Head is parallel with your arm. Breathe, balance and hold. And then let's release down and let's switch sides. Inhaling up, exhale back down. Inhale up, exhale down. One movement with each breath.
And then let's just hold here at the top, just breathing into this. Focus on that back leg. Let's drop that back leg down. And then let's lift it back up. Down and up for 20. Breathing into this. Pull your abdominals in. You can drop this arm down if you want to. And hold here at the top. And just little pulses, pulse, 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 small range of motion. And then let's release this arm down. Let's cross this leg over. It's still straight. Let's look behind and just see it. Nice and straight there. And then let's bring it all the way to the front and then back for 10, nine, counting to yourself, breathing into this. And then let's release down, great job. Foot is flat here. And let's just shift our weight all the way back, stretching your arms out and let's come all the way forward and just lean into this. You're really feeling that nice stretch in these hamstrings, in that groin area. And then shift your weight back a little bit, widen your stance on your arms, and let's just lift this up and down for 20. Breathing into this, good job. And then let's bring that leg all the way back and kick it back up again for 10. If this is too much on your knee, you can make a little padding with a towel. and drop this leg back down again. Let's breathe into this. Good job, just uh, stretch into this for a moment. And then let's bring this leg back in. I'm actually gonna make just a little extra padding for my knee right here. So bring this in, let's get ready for fire hydrant lifts. So we're lifting up and coming down. Widen that stance of your hands and distribute the weight evenly through your shoulders and hands, spreading your hands out flat on the mat. And let's hold here and lift, 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 small range of motion, lift, 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 lift. Good job, breathing into this, let's release down. Just stretch this out briefly. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Let's come back up, Switch, getting ready to do the same thing on the other side. To get a padding for your leg if you need to and extend that arm up, leg up. Opposite arm, drop your head down. Square those hips, I don't want them up. Let's square them off here. And then lower down and lift straight up. And then let's hold here in little pulses, pulse, pulse, pulse. And then let's just release down for a moment. Drop that arm down and cross this leg over. And kick out to the side for 10. Good job. Kick and then drop that leg down, the palm of that foot down, and just shift your weight into this. It should feel yummy. And let's roll all the way back and just stretch this out. And then let's come forward again. Shift your weight and lift this leg up for lifting this up for 20. Good job. And then let's bring this all the way back again. Make sure that leg is straight. Just feel a nice little stretch here. And we're going to kick for 10. Good job, drop that down, stretch this out once more. And then let's slowly come back up here, getting ready to go into that fire hydrant lift. So bringing this leg, widen your stance on your arms and lift up for 10. Breathing into this. You can do this, good job. Then let's hold here at the top, lift, 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 little pulses. Great job, and then release down. Take that towel out if you had it. Just gonna put it back in the front here, and let's just go right into extended child's pose. Stretching everything out. Shift your weight to one side and just stretch out your arms to one side, a nice lateral stretch in here. 
and then walk your hands to the other side. And then let's come to the center of our mats, getting ready to go down. Towel yourself off if you need to. If you have a towel, remember to have that handy or grab one. And then let's slowly, we're gonna extend one leg out, the other leg is straight, and we're just gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time. This protects our back. Once we're here, let's pull our legs in. Ah, oh, give yourself a hug, and let's just massage our low back into the mat. And let's switch and go the other way. Let's come back to the center, arms out, and let's just windshield wiper our legs side to side. Breathing into this. Side to side, inhaling and exhaling through your nose, it should feel good. You can stay here or we can just roll to one side, a little gentle stretch, and we're gonna make this a little bigger, roll to the other side. Side to side. Breathing into this. Just a few more of these kick and twists. Again, you can do them as small as you want them or as big as you want them. These should feel good. And then let's just rest to one side and look the opposite way, really trying to make sure both shoulders stay flat on the mat. And let's roll to the other side and look the opposite way again, trying to have both shoulders stay flat on the mat. Just a nice gentle twist. And then let's come back here to the center. Let's extend one leg up to the sky and then the other one just for a moment. Just roll those feet around one way and then let's go the other way. Just warming everything up. And then let's just drop one leg down, extend it out straight and bend the other one in. If you have low back pain, you can be here with your leg bent. If not, have it out and just pull this leg in towards your chest. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And we're doing a nice, just gentle yoga shape class today. It was extremely hot out where I am. I am sweating profusely. It is hot, 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 but let's come back to the center and just again, massage that low back in, that sacrum low back into the mat and then go the other way. And then we're gonna release our arms down, knees bent, let's inhale our arms up over our head. And on the exhale, I want this low back spot that's here, this arch, I want you to make sure you press that into the mat. So inhale up and over an arch. And then on the exhale, come down and press that whole low back, everything into the mat. And inhale back up. And then exhale back down here. Then let's tuck our chin to our chest and let's extend our arms up to the sky. And then let's just lift up and come down and lift up and come down. Really just kind of lifting up here. And then let's lower those arms down so they're only a couple inches off the floor and start pulsing. You can stay here. You can lift up one leg or two legs. You can be here in tabletop or here. So let's inhale. I'm gonna be in tabletop to start. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Good job. And inhale. Keep pulsing, keep those arms straight and exhale. Now let's extend those legs out straight and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Almost done, inhale. Lower those legs a little bit, tuck your chin to your chest, inhale and exhale. One more set and exhale. Great job, pull those legs in towards your chest. Inhale and drop your neck to the left. And exhale and roll your neck to the other side. Let's do that one more time. And again. And then let's just release those legs back down. Arms are gonna inhale up over your head and arch. Really arch up here so we're getting a nice little arch in our spine. And then when you come down, press that back into the floor and squeeze your pelvis up. So squeeze this up. And let's do that again. Inhale. 
and arch. And then exhale down and squeeze that up once again. And then let's release down. We're going to just bring our feet in a little bit closer. And then we're gonna inhale up and bring our fingertips behind our head, pressing our low back into the mat, elbows out wide. And let's just lift and crunch up. Keep breathing, elbows out wide. And then let's lift and twist. So lift and twist, bringing your elbow to your knee. And then we're gonna add in a leg. So lift your leg in and drop it down. You can stay here or we're gonna lift it in and extend it out and drop it down in and out and down. And then we're just gonna lift it up here and we're gonna go into twists, nice and slow. So bring your elbow to your knee, lift up and twist. And then let's pick up the pace here and go tempo. So breathing into this lift and twist. Try to keep those legs out straight. Now, if this is too much, you can be a little bit higher up here or you can go down lower. Great, and let's come back to the center. Inhale and drop your neck to the left. Exhale and roll your neck to the other side and let's come back to the center. Inhale those arms up over your head and let's just roll to one side and just gently come all the way up into a sit position in the center of our mats. Let's inhale all the way up and exhale down. Now this whole class, we're inhaling through our nose and exhaling through our nose. Let's do that again. Inhale and exhale, placing your hands on your knees. Let's do a trunk roll to each side, making a nice big circle here. Let's do one more on each side. And let's go the other way. And let's come back to the center. Inhale up. Clasp your hands. Come down into your heart center. And let's turn around and get onto all fours on our mat. Getting ready to, we're preparing for our sun salutations. So let's get in our mat. Let's lift up into down dog, the first down dog of the day. Woo! Notice how you feel. Let's walk out those legs. Just spread, look up, spread your fingertips out wide, press your hands into the mat and just walk out these legs. We're trying to press our heels to the floor and let's press them all the way down. Let's inhale and come up on our toes. I don't know about you, but I am popping and cracking today. Inhale and come up. Exhale back down. I totally need this class. And let's release back down. And let's just bend one leg and press the other one into the mat. Breathe into the surrender into this and switch sides. And let's press all the way down. Beautiful. And then from here, let's come forward into a modified plank. So let's drop to our knees and come all the way forward. So you want to shift your weight forward. You don't want your bottom in the air. You want to lower that down, looking forward. So this is a modified plank. A full plank would be right here. And let's just drop down. Let's squeeze those arms in really tight. So we're in a modified crocodile. And then let's flatten everything down. Feet flat behind, hands really tight towards our chest. And let's just inhale. We're gonna lift up and roll back, squeezing those shoulder blades back, pressing your feet into the floor, activating your legs, and lift up here and look straight ahead. Just breathing into this. And then let's just lower down for a moment and rest. Oh, for a breath, we're going to do the same thing. So hands really tight here. Lift up, roll back, squeeze those shoulder blades together and lift up. And then let's lower down. 
and rest. And let's do that once more. Hands tight here, feet flat on the mat. Roll older, lift up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then I want you to pick your hands up here and keep squeezing. And then lower down. Let's just press our hands here. And we're gonna lift up, coming up, and coming up even further, breathing into this. And then let's go right into extended child's pose. Counter that little back bend with a forward bend. Breathing into this, stretching out those arms, and then let's come back up onto all fours. Place your hands on the mat. Let's scrunch our toes up and lift up. And then step forward with one foot and then the other foot. So we're in standing forward fold. Let's inhale and look up. So halfway you're inhaling up to monkey. This should have a flat back, arms are dangling, and then drop back down. And then inhale into chair, coming into a sit position, sitting here, and then let's inhale and come all the way up, reaching up to the sky, and then slowly come down into our heart center. So coming into our heart center. So we're gonna do four sun salutations today. Grab water if you need it, so we're gonna get, do four sun salutations, and then we're gonna go into Mountain Two, the second part of our class. So let's get going, and uh, DM me if you want any, us to do something special, and let's get going. So let's come to the front of our mats, and let's inhale all the way up. Let's swan dive forward. Inhale, look up to monkey. Exhale, back down, place your hands on the mat. Let's step back with one foot and then the other foot, going into downward facing dog. And then let's come all the way forward into plank, full or modified. Drop to your knees, or drop to your crocodile and then flatten your knees and inhale up, coming up into an up dog. And then let's exhale back down and let's push and roll and come all the way back into down dog. And then let's step all the way forward with one foot and then the other foot so we're in standing forward fold. Inhale, look up into that monkey. Exhale, back down. Inhale into chair, coming into a sit position. And exhale all the way up and then come back down into our heart center, come back to the front of our mats. We're gonna do three more of those and we're gonna add on a little bit. So come to the front of your mat and let's inhale all the way up. And let's one dive forward. <sighs> inhale, look up to monkey. Exhale, back down. Let's step back with one foot and then the other foot going into downward facing dog. And then coming forward into plank. Lowering down into that crocodile and inhale up. And let's exhale back down. And push and roll all the way back into down dog. And alternating which foot you step forward with one foot then the other. Coming into standing forward fold. Let's inhale and look up to monkey and exhale back down. Inhale into chair and exhale all the way up, coming back into our heart center. So let's come back to the front of our mats. We're gonna do two more of these. Let's inhale up and swan dive forward. Inhale, look up to monkey. Exhale back down. Let's step back with one foot and then the other foot. Going into a down dog or a one-legged down dog. And then from here, let's come forward into plank, lowering down, and then let's inhale up to up dog. Exhale back down, and let's push and roll back into down dog. Stepping all the way forward with the other foot, coming back to that standing forward fold. Inhale, look up to monkey. Exhale back down. Inhale to chair, and exhale all the way up. Coming back down into your heart center. Stepping forward, we're on our last sensation. Let's inhale all the way up. Swan diving forward. <sighs> inhale, look up to monkey. Exhale, back down. Step back with one foot and then the other. And one legged down dog if you want. And then come forward into plank. And then let's lower down and lift all the way up. Exhaling back down and let's lift and push and roll back into down dog. And then step all the way forward with one foot and then the other. So we're in standing forward fold. Let's inhale, look up to monkey. 
exhale back down inhale into chair and exhale all the way up coming back into our heart center so Welcome, we're going into Mountain 2, so if you're there, hello, good morning. We're going into Mountain 2, we're going to slow it down a little bit and do a little, uh, our more traditional yoga poses. So we'll do warrior 1, 2s and 3s, maybe a triangle and a side ankle pose. So let's get to it. Let's come to the center of our mats, feet shoulder width apart, and let's inhale all the way up to the sky. And let's clasp our hands and come up on our toes. Lifting up here and balancing. Come as high as you can. Balance on your tippy toes here. And then let's lower down. Keep those heels up and lower down. Coming into a sit position and then swoop those arms up. Coming into a chair but keeping your heels off the floor. And then let's lower down. Dropping everything down. Feet flat on the mat. Let's just lift here. You're going to roll back. You're going to take the palm of your hand and slide that right under your foot. Placing your foot on your hand. And then lift up the other side, place your foot on your hand, and you're just going to drop your head down, try to straighten your legs and shift your weight forward. You almost feel like you're gonna fall over. We're creating a juxtaposition here and giving ourselves a little foot massage, just connecting our body, mind, and soul. Breathing into this, and then let's release. Shift your weight back, take one arm out and then the other. And let's slowly rise up, reverse. Swan dive, inhale those arms all the way up, come back up on those tippy toes. Clasp your hands, balancing here, come as high as you can. And then let's come down, coming into the sit position, sitting, 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 swooping those arms up, lifting up, keep those, lift those heels higher, sit lower and then release down, flatten everything down, drop your head down. Let's do that one more time. So let's slowly reverse swan dive all the way up and on the inhale, come up on your tippy toes as high as you can. Clasp your hands and then slowly come down, lifting up, bringing those arms down, lifting those heels up, swoop those arms, sit a little lower and then release down. Great job, everyone. Let's step back with one foot and then the other foot. Let's get comfortable into down dog. Let's do five deep breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. We're going to get ready to do warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior, maybe a warrior three and a triangle. So let's step all the way forward with our right foot. Knee is right over your ankle. And let's pivot and flatten our back foot, lining up our heels, rise up. Rotate those shoulders out and around. Try in the beginning, our hips might be shining this way. We're trying to rotate and get them to shine this way. And then let's inhale all the way up to the sky. Lunge a little bit into this arch a little bit, really feeling this stretch all in here and other spots. But the majority is right there, breathing into this. And then drop, keep your legs right where they are and drop your arms out to the side. Lunge a little bit deeper, pull back with your upper body. Roll out that back foot, it should be flat on the mat and breathe into this. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And then let's drop this arm down, let's go into reverse warrior. And then let's windmill those arms all the way down, twisting, rotating your hips here. Let's go into pyramid. So drop your hands to your leg and to the floor. If you have blocks, you can use them here on either side or just use one and just breathe into this pyramid pose with blocks or just your hands to the floor. And then let's windmill our arms back, up and around, coming back into that warrior two. Arms straight, front leg is bent. Let's lunge a little deeper, pull back our upper body, and just breathe into this, really feeling this stretch all in here. Keep breathing. Don't let your arms droop, no droopy arms. And then let's go into reverse warrior. And then 
let's windmill those arms back around, going back into pyramids. So we're windmilling them down, we're squaring our chest with our hips, and then we're dropping down. So you might just come to here, or to the floor, or to your blocks, and breathe into this. Great job, and then let's just windmill those arms back up and around, going all the way right into that reverse warrior. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And then let's come down, going right into side angle pose. So drop that, that arm right on that thigh and just lunge into this. The other arm, let's slide it up to our hip and then right to our shoulder right out over our ear and right out over our head and lunge into this a little more just reach so you're creating that beautiful side angle see my arm this angle arm to leg and open up here if you want to drop down or bind or take this to another level you can and then from here let's release down placing our hands on the side or on our blocks and let's go back into down dog so you can be in, right now I'm in down dog with my blocks. Just a little extra padding on my wrists. And then we're gonna prepare to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna go back, flattening my mat. It's getting all wrinkled. Okay, so we're gonna do the same series on the other side. So step all the way forward with your other foot. Make sure your knee is right over your ankle. Pivot and flatten your back foot. And then let's rise up, rotating our shoulders out and around. And then inhale those arms up to the sky. Lunge into this arch back a little bit. Breathe into this. And then let's open up our arms. Let's lunge a little bit deeper and pull back. So both arms are straight. One leg's bent, one leg's straight. Don't let those arms droop. And then let's go into reverse warrior. You can look up to the side or down. Breathing into this. And then from here, let's windmill those arms. Straighten your legs. We're going to go into pyramid. You might need to shorten your stance a little bit, but we want to square our hips with our legs and then drop down either to our thigh or to the floor. Or today I'm using the blocks just because it feels nice. Drop your head down. If you don't have any blocks, I highly recommend you get some because they're just a great prop to have. And they're light and they're also really great for stretching and just so many wonderful things. So from here, let's slowly windmill our arms back up, coming back into mountain two. Lunge a little bit deeper. We'll pull back a little. Make sure your knee is right over your ankle. If it's not, adjust it. Breathing into this. And then let's go back into that reverse warrior. So windmill those arms all the way down. I'm going right back into that pyramid. So either to your leg or all the way down, drop your head down. Breathe into this. And then let's windmill those arms back up, going all the way right into reverse warrior. Front leg is bent, back leg is straight. And then from here, let's go into side angle pose. So you're dropping that arm on your leg, lunging into this. And then your other arm is sliding up to your hip and then to your shoulder and then right out over your ear, right out over your head. And lunge into this and open up. And then let's release down. Let's come out of this, going back into our down dog. Let's do a few deep breaths together here in down dog. And let's raise one leg up to the sky, lifting up as high as you can go. Breathing into this, spread out those fingers, press those hands into the mat. A little higher if you can. And then let's bend that leg and just open up here. 
Stretching out everything here. Little circles with your knee going one way. And then go the other way. And then just come back and then let's re-extend that up and then try to square your hips. Your leg might come down a little. Try to square your hips here and then lower this leg back down. And then let's raise the other leg up to the sky and then as high as you can go. You can come up on your toe if you want or just stay down. I feel a lot tighter on this side today. And then let's just bend this out and open. Keep breathing. And let's make little circles. And go the other way. Great, and then release it back up. Square your hips and then lower down. Drop to your knees. Feet flat behind. Let's go into extended child's pose. Resting our forehead on the mat. And then let's slowly come up on all fours, walking your hands in, coming back to that tabletop, pulling those abdominals in. And then let's just inhale and arch up and exhale down and out. Let's do a few cat cows, just breathing into this. Inhale up and exhale back down. Great job, everybody. All the videos that come out good without sound problems and lawn mowing men and weed eaters and what have you, I am uploading to, to my YouTube channel. So I will have a collection of Yoga Shape Method classes for you to do any day, any time for beginners. So I'm trying to get a mass, a huge collection there. And then I'm going to do some intermediate classes and get those on there as well as some other specialty ones. So that's what I'm working on as we record these. We'll use some of these clips and these whole classes. Now they're not going to be there forever. Eventually they are going to go away. So let's just roll back up, going back into down dog. So let's come back down, dropping down to our knees, and let's turn around and come into a sit position on our mats. Let's bring, butterfly your feet together. You can take your pinky, these fingers, and wrap them around your big toes. You can just take your hands and wrap them around your feet. We're gonna then, if you can, we're gonna sit up nice and tall and use your elbows to gently press down here. The goal, we're trying to get these knees to drop to the floor. We're trying to get work on our flexibility here, stretching out our groin, pelvis area. I don't want you to roll over. I want you to try to sit up straight and just hinge forward into this. I'm gonna go into a balancing pose. Great job. Everyone looks really good. And then let's slowly come back. So we're gonna come back and just balance. We're gonna bring our legs together. We're just gonna shift back and balance on our sit bones. So if you can balance here, that's great. So let's do that. So we're gonna take those two fingers and we're gonna wrap them around our big toes. And then let's come here and just balance on that sit bone. Let's find a focal point. Concentrate on that focal point as you slowly start to lift your legs up and out, you might just be here. And if you can, let's straighten them up. Keep concentrating on that focal point and breathe into the sit up nice and tall. Inhale and exhale. And then let's slowly come back down to the center, bring your hands right on your knees, sit up nice and tall. And let's just come back into that butterfly position. Let's just sit up a little bit taller. Try to bring your heels a little bit closer in. If you can, wrap your hands around your toes. Sit up tall and let's breathe into this, pressing those legs down to the floor if we can get them there. And just breathe and hold, breathing into this, going deeper into the pose. feels so yummy today. I didn't do a lot of yoga this week, so I feel really tight in so many areas. It's amazing how once you stop doing it, your body just craves it and you can tell 
you'll start to become really aware of your body and what you need and where you need to spend more time. And I encourage you, you know, to keep doing the yoga shape method, to try other teachers as well. You might not like my style and that's okay. There are so many teachers and modalities and styles out there. There's definitely something for you. And then let's slowly come back to the center and let's shift our weight here coming back onto that sit bone, holding those toes, find that focal point and lift our legs up and out, extending them all the way out, coming into that sit position, breathing into this. And then let's slowly come back down, hands, knees together, sit up nice and tall. And let's just, we're gonna go into pigeon pose because it just feels really nice. So let's come back on our mats, get back into down dog. So let's get into down dog together. Let's just breathe here. And then let's extend one leg up to the sky. Oh, it feels good. And just hold it here. Bend that knee. And then let's bring that back so that knee is pointing down towards the floor. Let's bring this leg up and under so it's just dangling right under your belly button. It's so right under your belly button. And then bring it up and out to a 45 degree angle. And lower yourself down. So your knee's pointing out on the mat. Lower yourself down. Look behind to make sure your leg is flat and straight. And then lower yourself down to the mat. And you can just stay here. Or you can extend your arms all the way out and flatten down, breathing into this. Just feeling this nice deep hip stretch and groin. It's so great. This is really great. Really, we saved this for Mountain 3. And then let's slowly rise up, coming up here. So if you have a pillow or a blanket, you can tuck it here or your block if there's any space at all. So if you're up, you lift your bottom up and just slide this under. It just gives you a little extra support. And then you can walk up here and let's bend this leg up and let's reach behind if we can and grab this one leg. So if you, do, you might not have a space, you might not need that block there, but grab that leg. And then if you can, let's reach behind with both arms and grab this leg. If you can't, you can also wrap your towel around here or use a strap or you can just stay with this leg extended straight. And then let's slowly release down. This feels really yummy. Let's place our hands on the mat and just, sh now I want you to sit into this and bring this leg all the way around, coming into a nice seated twist. Readjust yourself and your, so your bottom, both cheeks are on the floor. Sit up nice and tall, and let's inhale all the way up. And exhale down, dropping your arms to one side and lift back and look up, breathing into this, rolling into this twist, looking back and up. Oh, this feels so good. I know I needed this class this morning. Let's inhale all the way, I almost missed it. I got up later than normal. I heard my phone ringing. And then I jumped out of bed and raced out to get some tea and prepare the space for the class. And let's come back in and let's just inhale up. And exhale down as you untwist yourself. Prepare, let's get back into down dog. Do the same thing on the other side. So lift back into down dog. Raise that leg up to the sky. The other one, I had to think for a moment and then let it uh, flop out and open. Just breathe into this. And then let's just slowly bring that down so your knee is pointing towards the floor. And then just bring it under so your knee is right under your belly button. It's just under your belly button. And then up and out. So if you had a clock in front of you, it'd be at about 9 or 10 o'clock. Your knee is to the edge of the mat. Your heel is in between your pelvis and belly button. And then look behind and make sure that leg is straight. It has a little nasty trick to um, be all over the place. And then lower down here. You might just be here. You might be dropping all the way down. And 
and then we're gonna slowly come back up. So let's slowly come back up. Readjust yourself if you need that pillow or block under your hip, please place it there. Remember the props are, are not that you're not good. They're really to help you go deeper into the pose. Let's lift back, reach behind and clasp with one hand. You might just be here or you could be here. Or if you want and you can, you can reach behind and clasp with your other hand, breathing into this. I actually need my block today, so I'm just gonna be here. And then let's release out of this, readjust that leg down. Sit your bottom to the side as you bring this leg all the way around. I love that transition, readjusting into a nice, beautiful sit position. Let's readjust our bottom and let's inhale and lift all the way up. And exhale down, our arms out to the side and lift back and up to the back corner. Hi, little lizards. I see my little yogi lizards peering out of the plants. <laughs> There's a little baby lizard in my orchid. Let's inhale all the way up. And exhale down, placing your hand on the mat. Lift and twist and roll back, breathing into this. And then let's come back to our heart center. Inhale your arms up to the sky. Let's clasp our hands and come down here. And then let's just readjust coming out of this beautiful stretch. Let's just readjust on our mat and extend one leg out. Now you're gonna use your towel or strap if you have it. So place that to your side. Let's extend one leg out and let's bend the other one in. And let's roll all the way down one vertebrae at a time. Once you're here, tuck yourself in, massage that sacrum into the mat and switch sides. Let's come back to the center. Let's grab that towel or your straps. If you have it, if not, just you can use your hand or you can just hold your leg. So one leg is bent, the other leg is straight. And we're just gonna pull this leg in toward our chest and breathe here. Now if that leg is bent and you want to, you can extend it out and straighten it here. And then this other arm goes to the side and let this leg flop out and open to the other side. Just breathing into this. Just let that leg drop into this and go a little bit deeper using your breath. And then let's slowly come back to the center and let this go to the other side just a little bit. Your arm switches to the other and let's just roll out. And then let's come back to the center. Let's readjust. Bring this other leg up, extending it out straight. The other leg is bent and just pull this in. Now we extend this leg out straight. Breathing into this, see if you can go a little bit deeper. And then let's let this leg flop out to the side. Ooh. Again, your other leg can be bent or straight. I like to use the towel because it's just as an easy prop. You can wash it, it's easy breezy. It just helps you go a little bit deeper. If you don't have the towel, you could just be holding your leg. And let's come back to the center. And let's just then go the other way, letting this leg flop out to the side. And let's slowly come back up to the center. Let's release that towel and that leg and let's just set it to the side. And let's just bend these legs in. Wrap those fingers or your hands around your big toes or just hold them. Let's go into dead bug pose. So we're trying to pull our knees down to the floor. 
really stretching in this nice grind stretch. Your feet should be flat. They should be, I should be able to bring a book or a bowl over to them and we'll be able to place that here. So you can stay here, you can move with this a little bit. Breathing into this. And then let's come back to the center and extend those legs out behind us. We're getting ready to go into our inversion or plow. So if you want, folks, you can stay right here and just feel that you could even scoot your bottom up to the wall and just have your legs up to the wall and just stay here. It feels really nice. Or if you want to take it to the next level and join me, it feels really good. It's fun. Place your hands on the mat and let's roll these legs down and up and lift up and over going into our plow and then just kind of do the little shoulder walk. We're readjusting, trying to get our shoulders more on the mat. Imagine an apple under your chin. We're trying to get our feet to the floor. If you can't, that's okay. If you can, let's reach one arm and the other and just stretch here. And then let's release our arms down and let's slowly come up. Bring your feet together. Hands are supporting yourself and let's slowly rise up as we walk our hands down our shoulders. So you're walking your hands down your back trying to get as high up as you can and still imagining that apple under your chin. And then you can stay here straight or you can flop your legs out to a V. We're in our inversion a day. Keeps the doctor away. Refreshing all of our organs with fresh blood. Just play here. See what feels good for you. Going back. And then slowly bringing those legs back down to the floor, into plow. Have your hands on your low back for support and then on the mat either here or here. And let's slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. And then we're gonna go right into fish. So let's lower down and then release and extend those legs right out, sitting on your hands. Extend your legs out straight, press the weight back into your elbows and arch up here, breathing into this beautiful back bend. We're countering those forward bends with back bends because we are a forward slumping society. We're hunched over our computers. Did you know it's more dangerous and detrimental to our health to be sitting than smoking or anything else? Let's release those hands. Inhale your arms up over your head. And exhale back down. Let's do that again. Inhale our arms up over our head. And exhale down. And then let's just rest our hands right on our hip bones. Let's extend one leg out straight and then the other. Just let your legs flop out to the side. I want you to close your eyes. We are finally in our final pose, Shavasana. Part of the Yoga Shape Method is all of the poses have been renamed. So you're not, it's just part of the things I want to bring yoga to the masses. So we don't do alms, we don't do chanting, I don't burn incense, although I use essential oils. And we've renamed all the poses and we've added in some sculpting and toning to just make it a really beautiful class. It's what a lot of my clients really wanted. Let's just close our eyes and let our body sink into the ground. As you focus on, let's do 10 deep breaths together. And then let's start to wiggle our fingers and toes. Start to scrunch your nose up. Move things around and let's inhale our arms up over our head. 
And then let's exhale and just roll to one side and turn around and come all the way into a sit position. Let's come into a nice sit position here with our arms out to the side. And then let's inhale our arms all the way up to the sky. Clasping and coming into your heart center. Beautiful. Let's do that again. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's do that one more time. And come back down into our heart center. Let's just place our hands on our knees. And let's do trunk rolls. I love these. So let's make circles. A nice, beautiful circle. Let's do that two more times. Breathing, inhaling. And let's switch sides. Now, you guys aren't here with me, but if you were in my class, while you were in Shavasana, I would have went and got you a big, beautiful, tall glass of water with lemon in it, and it's room temperature, and then we would together drink that. So, you've worked your body mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I thank you for joining me for Yoga Shape Method today. So. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a great class. If you have any lemons, I would like you to go and slice a lemon and just have some water that's room temperature and squeeze that lemon into your glass and drink that at the end of this class. And I'd like you to do that for all of the classes. It's a great cleanser and a tonic and it's so good for your skin and your mind and your body. This is Sam. If you've enjoyed the class, it's free. I'm streaming from my house to yours, but I do accept donations. There's information on my website, yogashapemethod.com. Accept donations through Venmo, Venmo and PayPal. And if you're enjoying these classes and you're looking for a festival or something fun to do, we are going to be in Miami live, uh, hopefully, with the pandemic calming down in December. So December 13th, 2020, Yoga Fun Day Miami. I will be teaching there as well as 25 other classes in yoga, meditation and dance, kirtan bands, DJ Boomi, Femme Africa, performance by them, and amazing vendors, local craft, artisanal crafters, uh, Mother Kambuka, some really cool vendors. We're also accepting vendors. So if you want more information on that, tickets, early bird tickets are on sale. And vendor information, it's all on our website, yogafunday.com. So with no further ado, from my house to yours, I will see you tomorrow morning, 9.30 on the mat. If you have enjoyed this class, please leave a comment or send me a note and have a blessed, beautiful day. Mwah, mwah, mwah.